Lightroom contains a lot of useful tools. And one of those that's a very powerful tool is the spot removal tool. This it gives you a lot of the a lot of similar features what you'd normally find in Photoshop with their the clone stamp tool in that for example. But this gives you the ability to make a lot of those same changes and modifications without having to switch over to another application and then switch back to edit your photos. And so what you can do to find the spot removal tool is in the develop tab in Lightroom you'll come over to the right hand side here and you'll notice where you have your crop and other and the adjustment brush tools. The second one from the left if you hover over it you're gonna see it's called the spot removal and you'll also see in the parentheses there the keyboard shortcut of Q for this. So to access it, you can either click on this and it'll drop down your options. Or if you hit the Q key on your keyboard, it'll bring up those same options. And so to start exploring this, the first thing you're going to notice is the brush. And you've got two options here, which is either the clone or the heel. And what clone does, clone is similar to the clone stamp tool in Photoshop. And what this does, it copies the texture and color and pastes it. And so what you can do here, for example, just say I click out here and I'm going to reposition this and we'll get into repositioning here in just a minute. Say I move it over the top, you'll notice it basically copied that, placed it right up there where I initially clicked. And so that it's a pretty much it's a just like it says it it clones exactly what the destination is wherever you you click on it. The second one you got here is heel. And heel, this one's the one that I use probably 90% of the time. And it's I would consider it the most used option on here. And what heel does is it copies copies the texture only and pastes it pastes it to where where you clicked. Uh, this is very useful if you have skin retouching on your photos, say you have an imperfection on somebody's face, and what you want to do is copy smooth skin, and it'll paste that smoothness over the imperfection, and it gives you a lot better blend, and it smooths it in really, really well. So those are the two options you have as far as clone and heal go. The next thing you're going to notice is the size, and if you see your brush right here. If you adjust the size with the slider, you can slide it up and down. And this is probably going to be the slowest way that you can adjust the size of the brush. Another option you have are the bracket keys on your keyboard. Left bracket sizes it smaller, right bracket sizes it larger. Or the quicker alternative, if you scroll down, you'll go smaller or scroll up on your mouse or your trackpad. This will make it smaller and larger just by swiping or scrolling up and down on those. And you'll see it, note, it adjusts your size over on the right hand slider as well. So those are your options as far as adjusting the brush size. And the next thing you'll notice here is the feather. Feather, if you look at the brush, you'll see two rings on it. The, there's an inside ring and the outside ring. And the feather, it basically, it'll start it at... 100% on the inside ring and fade it out to 0% on the outside. And so if we adjust this clear down to 0, you're going to get a very hard edge brush. If we adjust this up to 100, you're going to see a very soft edge brush. And so this is good to help kind of smooth that transition in when you're removing spots or cloning out some imperfections in your photo. Generally, I'll start at a little bit lower, maybe around 30-ish or so. But again, it's going to vary depending on, on what you're trying to do. So you can play around with this to give you the desired, desired effect. And the last slider here you're going to see is the opacity. And this is pretty much what it says. I mean, if you click to clone something out and remove something with the spot removal tool, you can adjust the amount that that is going to affect. So if you have a zero opacity or one and you click something, you're still going to see what you clicked underneath. 
and it's only going to copy the the destination for it very slightly. You crank this up to 100 and it's going to be very non-transparent I guess is an easy way to, to put that. So if you want to remove one spot but you want to see a little bit of what's underneath it still to give more of a, a blend to it you can play around with your opacity here. Generally I usually use it at 100 because I'm trying to remove you know sensor spots or dust spots or or other imperfections like that. So that pretty much goes over the slider options for the spot removal tool. You also notice in the bottom left here you have a little toggle switch to turn off the spot removal. So say I clicked out here and I've got that on. If I want to see what it looked like without those spots removed, I can turn that off really quick and it goes away. And then I can toggle it back on and see it again. So that gives you a quick, a quick look at a kind of a before and after on that. Over on the right hand side, you'll see an option for reset. So say you have a bunch of spots removed here. You don't like any of them, want to quickly get rid of them. You just hit reset and it remo removes them all. Say you click that on accident. The easy way to get that back is you hit control or command Z and it will undo the reset and all of your spots are now back. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these here. And then the last option is just close, which closes your spot removal. So let's bring that back up here and go into a little bit of the the details of actually how you would use the spot removal tool. And you'll see that I've got on this image a lot of little spots pretty much everywhere here. And these, they aren't bad spots being that they are actually stars, but there are so few of them due to the light pollution that it actually, in my opinion, takes away from it. So you may have an image with this many spots, you may have just a few spots from from dust or or whatever it may be, but I figured this would be a good example to kind of show you how you can remove a lot of these spots quickly and easily without going into Photoshop. So the easiest way, I've got my size over here where I'd like it, I don't need to to remove a big spot. So let's take this one right here, if I hover over it, click you'll see that it goes away. I can go do this again, click on this one, just click a few of these, and you'll see that it, it Lightroom automatically picks the destination where it's going to, going to sample from. And if you don't like where Lightroom chooses to sample, you can always click your forward slash key and that will choose a new location. And so you can click that as many times as you want to see which one works better. Another alternative to that, if you want, you can just hover over where it's sampled from, click, and you can drag this pretty much anywhere that you feel like it. And then another option as well, once you've clicked, you have your, your spot removed if the area that you or the size of your brush is too small for what you need it to be you can hover over where you initially clicked and you'll see your cursor changes to kind of this expanding arrow so if you click and drag you'll notice the size of your brush is now changing so that's an easy way that you can adjust the size after you've already adjusted the size over here in your tools Another option you've got here is if you hold down the Alt key, you'll see that your cursor changes to a little scissor icon. And this is another option instead of just hitting reset to delete all of them, say you want to just delete one or two of your, your spots, you can hold down the Alt key and then click on it and it'll get rid of it. So you can do that to any one of these. And then alternatively to that, if you have your spot selected, you can hit your delete key and that will also get rid of it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to add some of these spot removals back in here. And the other option you have is if you hover over 
where you click to remove your spot and you right click you're gonna have the option to quickly change this from clone or heal you also get the option for the selecting the new source you can delete it and then you can also reset them so if you don't want want to say you have this one clear over here and you don't want to move your cursor all the way back to the right to change to the clone you can always just hover over it right click hit clone and now you'll see that that has changed so that's a, a handy little shortcut to kind of keep you from moving back and forth across your screen to adjust settings on this we're gonna go right here and you've noticed that we've created a whole bunch of circles this in Lightroom 4 was the only way that you were able to remove spots. Now in Lightroom 5, a key feature of it is that you can draw lines with this. So you can draw that, draw a circle, and you'll see that that's exactly what it's done. So this works great. So even this big flare that we've got right here, and yes, I could size it up like this and just click once and do that. The other alternative, and this would also work better as you can kind of see I've got a, a straight line flare right here. Let's do this and we can just draw and get rid of that. Does that right there. Another quick option that you have, if you have straight lines like power lines or uh, contrails in the sky or, or anything like that that's gonna be straight, if you click one spot, hold your shift key down, and click another spot, Lightroom is going to draw a straight line. And you'll see this didn't work out that well just due to the location of the building, but if you have another spot, say right here, click right there, say there was a straight area that you wanted to get rid of, it's going to draw you a perfectly straight line. And again, you can click and, and drag this around. And these, once you have your straight line drawn, you cannot adjust the size after the fact. So let's go back here, delete a few of these to get back to this. Finally, we've got two more key features of this that you'll notice. Down here in the bottom, we've got our toolbar. If you hit your T button on the keyboard, that'll toggle that toolbar on and off. This, what it's going to do is going to give you the tool overlay. And so all of these spots that you see, I have this set to always. If you change it to auto, if you move off from the picture, you'll see that they go away so you can see, kind of get the full effect of the picture without all the circle showing up on it. And then when you hover over it, those will all pop back up. You can also choose to have them always on like we had before. You can choose to never show them. I don't really recommend this because it's kind of hard to see where you've, you've already clicked. And then selected, you'll see just that one. Again, it's a little bit, a little bit hard to see which ones you've already, already done. So I will usually leave this on always. And then another little keyboard shortcut for you to kind of get the before and after look is if you hit on the H key on your keyboard, this will toggle those to never and back to auto again. And so you can kind of get a, here's an after without all of the circles blocking your view, Tog, toggle those back on to see what you've already, already done. I keep that back on always just for the purpose of this. And then this now leads to the last uh, main feature of the spot removal tool, which down in the toolbar you'll see is the visualize spots. And this is a, a huge, huge feature to help help with your spot removing on all of your images. So if you click on the little box right there, and also again, if you hover over this, you'll see that the keyboard shortcut is A. So if you tap A, what this is going to do is show you the it highlights the edges in your image. So you'll notice that the building has a lot of edges, so it highlights all of those. But also all of these stars that you see, they also have edges on them, and it's going to highlight those as well. You can adjust the amount of the edges. So if you increase this to the right, it's going to highlight a lot more of the edges. 
to the left is going, going to decrease those. So if you move this, in essence, it turns your, your photo into a black and white and allows you to see all of these little spots right here. And this works incredibly well when you have really subtle sensor spots or dust spots. There's a lot of times in your images that you just won't be able to see those. These that you see here are quite obvious because they're bright. Uh, the sensor spots and dust spots are really, they're dark muted usually. And so you'll go through and process your whole image and not notice them, send it to the print lab, get your nice big print back and you'll notice a huge spot that you never saw on your monitor. And so this visualize spots tool works great for this. You can just kind of come in here, click a whole bunch of these here, like so. And then if you go back and toggle this back off, you'll see those spots are still there. We'll hit our H key again, and you'll see that all of our circles are gone. And that pretty much sums up the spot removal tool it's a hugely powerful tool that helps you clean up, erase imperfections, remove spots, remove power lines, and gives you a lot of the full-fledged features that Photoshop offers, but allows you to not exit out of Lightroom into a separate program and then come back to finish your editing. So click on your spot removal tool and see how it can help you process your images.